I guess you haven't been here in a while. Long yeah. time, and it was the other studio. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. It had been about 10 years since Liam Neeson had stopped by The View, and considering this is how his appearance ended on Thursday. I yeah. will find you I and I will you. kill you. Oh, That's the best. I have a particular set of skills. Get a skills. life. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> he won't be back for another decade. So he was on to promote his new movie, Marlowe, but the ladies also wanted to talk about Joy's adoration for him. I would just like to have my ashes sprinkled over Liam Neeson. <laughs> Unbeknownst to Joy, the show had put together a montage of all the times that she has brought him up. So, Joy, you received the checks, I right? know. <laughs> no, I'm um, sorry. I, I have, I'm speechless at this point. <laughs> well, How we do embarrassing talk. when they put them all together like that. I know. And now today, in an interview with Rolling Stone, Liam says again that it was just a bit embarrassing. I've known Whoopi for years, enjoy a little bit, but I just wasn't impressed. I'm uncomfortable in those situations, you know? I got this valentine from you today. <laughs> It says, happy belated Valentine's Day, Liam X. And then I, and I was like, oh. And then I find out you gave it to all of us. After Liam had watched from backstage that they had opened the show by talking about gun violence in America, he thought he might be asked to weigh in on that pressing issue in America. He even congratulated the ladies on the discussion after he came onto set while a clip was playing from his movie, Marlowe. But then Liam's segment started off with this. Well, we sorry. talk about you yeah, so yeah. much, I feel like you've been here. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah. Huh? No, uh, no, you talk about it. All right, don't, <laughs> don't blow my cover. Joy wants to get taken by you. <laughs> Liam tells Rolling Stone, our segment starts and it's just all of this BS with Joy and Liam Neeson and having a crush. Liam does say he had a good, intelligent conversation with Sonny after his two segments wrapped, but on air, Liam says, it was all about this ugh, 13, 14 year old crush. Honestly, my thought is lighten up, Liam. Like, stop acting like you're so high brow. The 25 Taken S movies that you've starred in say otherwise. I bet there's lots of guys who are seven years old, your age, that would love to have women lusting after him. I mean, there's guys way younger than you that would love to have women lusting after him. So enjoy it, Liam. There's no egos at stake. No. Seriously. Yeah, I believe you. And it's. You know, this is the scene, this is what they have to do. And while Liam says his two segments were all about that, I did a quick time tally. So Liam was on for about nine and a half minutes, and then two minutes and 45 seconds were spent on the crush. So around a third. It was meant to be embarrassing for Joy, and yeah, for you as well, but how nice that she has a crush. Like, I mean, just take that, Liam. It's not that big of a deal. It's also one thing to privately say that to people like, oh, I don't really like that view interview. But to go talk about it to Rolling Stone, Liam? Like, I mean, you know this is going to make headlines. Like, it's not that big of a deal that you need to make national headlines about this, which is this is now making. And Liam, if you want to talk about uncomfortable interviews, how about we talk about how uncomfortable the other people in the room were when you said that you started hunting black men in the streets of London, I think it was, or Dublin, after your friend was raped by a black man. So, yeah, that racism was pretty uncomfortable, Liam. So I think you can take a crush from Joy Behar. But, yeah, what are your thoughts? I'm afraid to invite you back, <laughs> but I will. Don't wait we, 10 years. Please, please come back whenever please. you want. I'd love to. We do Thanks love having you. <laughs>